Nira Warren, Kimbani Bari Wadawarung, Kitchar Nitch, King Kimba Wadanit, Jinjin Ba Wadanit. I say, hello, how are you? Welcome. This is Wadawarung country. Let us all come together, walk together, and learn in peace. I pay my respects to elders, past, present, and emerging, to all other Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people viewing. I thank the creator who watches over this land. I thank the creator who watches over this land on which we stand. I thank the creator who watches over this land on which we are visitors. We are proud to follow in the footsteps of our ancestors who have gone before us. Niani Bhagavata, Wadarung Ja. Thank you and take care on Wadarung country. Good evening, I'm Jason Smith, the director of Geelong Gallery. Welcome. Thank you, Nikki, for your welcome to country. I too, on behalf of the board and the entire gallery team, want to pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging and acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which the gallery stands, the Wadarung people of the Kulin Nation. We're of course disappointed that we can't gather in person this evening for several exhibitions. Frederick McCubbin, Whispering in Wattle Boughs, a centerpiece of our 125th anniversary. And before I speak more about Frederick McCubbin, I also want to acknowledge the two other exhibitions we'll be speaking about this evening, Exhume the Grave, McCubbin and Contemporary Artists, and the 2021 Geelong Acquisitive Print Awards. And I want to thank and acknowledge and welcome all of the exhibiting artists who might be tuning in this evening. I want to thank our lending partners to Frederick McCubbin Whispering in Wattle Bowers. It's been a remarkable undertaking only made possible through the generosity of major institutions, including the National Gallery of Australia, the National Gallery of Victoria, the Art Gallery of Western Australia, Shepparton Art Museum, and the Art Gallery of Ballarat, in addition to several important private collectors. Thank you most warmly for your generous contributions to this exhibition. An exhibition of this scale and ambition would not have been possible without the generous contribution of many supporters and partners. And I want to thank especially our local government partner, the City of Greater Geelong. I also want to thank the Victorian State Government who, through Creative Victoria, has indemnified this exhibition. The Dimmick Charitable Trust, EL and C Bailey, Barry and Jan Fagg, and importantly, AWM Electrical and Data Supplies through the National Gallery of Australia's Regional Initiatives Program have been essential support. The beautiful publication that attends this exhibition has been supported by the Gordon Darling Foundation and we are most grateful for the ongoing support of the foundation. Our learn partner is Macarry's Bus Lines, a steadfast supporter of the gallery. To officially launch Frederick McCubbin, Whispering in Waddle Bowers, it's my great pleasure to welcome Christine Cousins, State Member for Geelong. I begin by acknowledging the original owners of the land, the Wadawurrung people, and pay my respects to ancestors past, present and future, and to any Aboriginal people listening tonight. Welcome and thank you for your care of our land and waterways. Tonight we celebrate the opening of the Frederick McCubbin Whispering in Wattle Bowers, a Geelong Gallery curated exhibition and the exciting evolution in the gallery's history. This year, in the midst of honouring 125 years since its inception, Geelong Gallery has developed this jewel box like exhibition celebrating work of the great Frederick McGovern. McGovern's A Bush Burial, 1890, was the first work to enter the collection of Geelong Gallery in 1900 and did so through public subscription. Geelong Gallery celebrates this exceptional acquisition and significant moment in the history of this gallery by bringing a bush burial into dialogue with a focused selection of other iconic McCubbin works in which he elaborates and redefines the Australian bush and the human subjects within it. Iconic works from around the country borrowed from major public and private collections elaborate on McCubbin's unending fascination with the colour and nature of the bush and capturing the light and atmosphere of the landscape and various times of the day and across different seasons. Across the exhibition's duration, Geelong Gallery is expecting to see over 12,000 visitors with media circulation exposure towards 1.5 million. 
The state government is supporting this important exhibition through the security of indemnification through the auspice of Creative Victoria. Furthermore, I am delighted to announce that the state government has confirmed funding through the Enabling Tourism Fund of $125,000 towards the 2021 business case for the expansion of the Geelong Gallery. With funding also from the Gallery and the City of Greater Geelong, this project will see the proposed future expansion of Geelong Gallery into the Town Hall and adjoining conference centre and move one step closer to reality. This exciting project will see the gallery evolve into the 21st century museum the great city deserves and needs. Christine, thank you so much for your contribution and thank you for your support of the gallery. Assembling Frederick McCubbin, Whispering in Bottle Bowels, has been a major undertaking by our senior curator, Lisa Sullivan. She has also curated a marvellous pendant exhibition called Exhume the Grave, McCubbin and Contemporary Artists. And what this exhibition does is reflect on contemporary artists' enduring fascination with McCubbin's landscape, narrative and human figure subjects. And I want to thank participating artists, Wanda Vila, Jill Orr, Anne Zahalka, the late Polizzini Papa Petru, Christian Thompson AO and Robert Haig. This small but complex exhibition has already received broad critical acclaim and media interest and is one we hope you can experience. Our curatorial exhibitions management, registration, facilities management, partnerships, learn and visitor services team members have brought unfailing energy patience and swift thinking to months of ever-changing logistics in the delivery of our exhibitions program, and I thank them sincerely for their resilience. And although we are unable to extend a welcome to our members this evening, we thank you for your understanding and for your steadfast support over the past two years. We look forward to seeing you in person again. We are operating under strict COVID safety measures, and you can be reassured that your safety is of the utmost importance to us. We have been grateful for your support and we look forward to welcoming you. I'm also here to speak about the 2021 Geelong Acquisitive Print Award and to announce the recipient of this year's award. This is a long established exhibition in our program, attracting printmakers from around the country. And we're delighted that the Colin Holden Charitable Trust is our key partner in the delivery of this award. And we thank them most sincerely for their ongoing support of not only the gallery, but Australian printmaking. This year's prize attracted more than 230 entries from around Australia. And together with my fellow judges, Cathy Lay, Senior Curator of Prints and Drawings at the National Gallery of Victoria, and Marguerite Brown, General Manager of the Print Council of Australia, we managed to shortlist 34 works by 37 artists. The exhibition demonstrates that printmaking is in a vital and healthy state in Australia, and I want to congratulate and thank each of the participating shortlisted artists. 34 works by 37 leading and emerging artists were shortlisted for the 2021 Geelong Acquisitive Print Award, selected from around Australia. In representing some of the country's finest artists, this exhibition provides a particular survey of printmaking and current approaches to subject matter, genre, and formal and conceptual diversity. In this 2021 exhibition, we see deeply thought-provoking responses to the built environment, the natural world, geopolitics and world events, history and culture, language and storytelling, and explorations of colour and form through abstraction. And I want to thank each artist for their work and their exceptional vision. On behalf of Cathy Lay and Marguerite Brown, I'm delighted to announce that the recipient of the 2021 Geelong Acquisitive Print Award is the Canberra-based printmaker, Diane Fogwell. Diane's five panel, Unique State Colour Liner Cut is extraordinary for its technical brilliance and conceptual richness. It is a tour de force in contemporary printmaking. The luminous forested landscape is printed in multiple layers from many blocks impressed on both the front and back of five panels of fine Japanese paper. The work floats suspended off the wall. 
Fogwell's impressive technical execution combines with her choice of diaphanous, seemingly fragile paper to arrive at a work, the material presence of which marries seamlessly with its elemental and mesmerising imagery of wind, sky and bushland. Congratulations, Diane Fogwell, a very worthy recipient of the 2021 Geelong Acquisitive Print Award. We're going to leave you now, but I want to thank you for joining us this evening. Please enjoy, as we conclude this evening's announcements, some footage of the suite of exhibitions just opened and that are available to you from tomorrow. Of course, continue to engage online with various public programs and events that we continue to schedule, but above all, we look forward to seeing you here in the gallery very, very soon. Good evening.